ஸோ தானியா டி ஃபோர் நைட் ஆஃப் சிக்ஸ் சி ஃபோர் இ சிக்ஸ் நவ் நைட் சி த்ரீ தினம்ஸோ இந்தியா பிஷப் பி ஃபோர் குயின் சி டூ அ வெரிஷன் வித் த ரெப்யூட்டேஷன் ஆஃப் இட்ஸ் அ ப்ரெடி பீஸ்ஃபுல் ஓப்பனிங் யூனோ அண்ட் ஒயிட் யூஷுவலி ஹேஸ் அ வெரி சாலிட் பர்சன் ஆல் ஆஃப் குயின் சி டூ பிளாக் ஹேஸ் டூ மெயின் மூவ்ஸ் இயர் ஷார்ட் கேஜல் அண்ட் டி ஃபைவ் மேக்னஸ் வென் ஃபார் டி ஃபைவ் இயர் பிகாஸ் ஷார்ட் கேஜல் அலோஸ் ஒயிட் டு பிளே த பாண் டு இ ஃபோர் அண்ட் ஆஃப்டர் டி ஃபைவ் சி டேக்ஸ் டி ஃபைவ் பிளாக் அண்ட் இதர் டேக் வித் த குயின் ஆர் வித் த பாண் அண்ட் டேக்கிங் வித் த பாண் இட் கேன் லீட் டு சம் ஆஃப் தீஸ் வெரி ஷார்ட் வெரி இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் பொசிஷன்ஸ் எஸ்பெஷலி திஸ் லைன் வித் பிஷப் ஜி ஃபைவ் இயர் இட் இன்வைட்ஸ் பிளாக் டு பிளே ஹெட் சிக்ஸ் அண்ட் ஜி ஃபைவ் இட் பின்ஸ் த குயின் பட் பிளாக் கெட்ஸ் அவுட் ஆஃப் இட் ப்ரிட்டி குவிக்லி ஹெட் சிக்ஸ் பிஷப் ஹெச் ஃபோர் இன்சர்டிங் நைட் சி சிக்ஸ் இன் பிட்வீன் டு அட்டாக் த டி ஃபோர் பாண் இ த்ரீ அண்ட் now g5 this variation has been around for a few years now i remember uh, this was first time i saw this was uh, nihal with the white side against uh, swani and uh, after bishop g3 h5 this variation uh, this questions get quite wild for both the sides it's not uh, the threat of uh, a bishop trap immediately because the bishop does have the e5 square so white can continue with bishop b5 white can continue with knight f3 here or just stop the h pawn with h4 but it's more to do with i think the control of the center the knight coming to e4 and uh, the control of the center rather than something immediate against white's king or the bishop very interesting dynamic here and of course now i see that magnus is has gone into a bit of a thing here H5 was the last move, right? Yeah, H5 and now H3 played by. And this is interesting because what happens when you play a move like H3 or H4 is that it allows Knight E4 to come in, hit that Bishop on G3, and you'd have to sort of lose another tempo. You can't imagine, for example, going Bishop E3 would be a bad idea. Knight G3, F G3 is a pawn structure that you definitely never want. Never want. Like this is a nightmare. So after knight e4, white black actually ends up winning a tempo, forcing the white bishop to retreat to h2. And I'm expecting Magnus to play this move. Uh, we'll see how this one develops, but definitely fire on board here in the shark against Magnus matchup. Let's take a look at what our two pro streamers, pro commentators, are doing. It's Eric taking. Thank you.
played by Magnus, Queen F5. And uh, it could probably just end with checkmate Tanya. Maybe not even uh, move the hedge pawn. Because knight c5 check and the queen is coming to c8. And uh, the b5 will also be opened. Also, it allows the white queen to participate in the attack with queen d3 here. So after king b7, queen f5, maybe Magnus plays something like bishop e4. It does get hit by knight c5 check, but uh, he wouldn't mind losing a pawn and opening up this diagonal for his queen. Very scary. Would it be accurate to say that Magnus's position is looking as dark as his room right now? The future is not right here for this one. It's a bit of a dark humor there, but it's not inaccurate. <laughs> I mean, I am really scared for black here. Queen f5 played, but what a game by Shaq this has been. You know, in the opening, it looked like Shaq was the one in, in trouble, but he managed to turn things around with this h4 move, giving up that pawn, establishing his bishop on f4, and now he's the one who's crashing through, and uh, Magnus's position looking like it's about to fall apart, bishop e4, the move that you suggested has been played. Knight c5 check makes a lot of sense and you never want to take on e4 and allow, let's just point that out, that after knight c5, the idea is not to take on e4 uh, because then don't forget that queen from f7 will jump onto a2 giving activity. So queen e4 doesn't matter, queen g4 doesn't matter. You never take that bishop. Where do you go with your queen after bishop e4, knight c5? And has king b8 been played? Is this on the uh, no, he's just gone queen f1 directly. So he's threatening b takes c6. Uh, Shaq just wants to get in with his queen and checkmate the black king. I think his focus is quite clear. He's not he's not transforming the position into a strategic advantage. Now now I think he'll just take with the rook. Yeah, he's taken with the rook. Black has to play rook d7 and maybe something like rook c6 here. Magnus That's has resigned. Magnus has resigned. He almost had a little smile on his face at just how miserable the position was. He knows that something went wrong. But we've often seen this from Magnus. He has these shaky starts in this tournament, in these tournaments, but then goes straight back to bounce back into it. So of course you can just never write him off. Uh, but a big win on the other hand for Shakriar winning game one after a tough complicated opening in true Shark style. Uh, going for the checkmate here. Love that game. A big task ahead of Magnus now. Of course, he needs to make that comeback. But we know when he's got his 